Hello. We are back, but this time a short video about the uh, USB-C ports. I'm working on this one like over one hour on this phone, and the crazy part is all the pins there, uh, the pins from the USB-C are broken. And I checked just to restore the the, the charging uh, functionality. Yeah. <laughs> I, I tried to find online like anything about this but I couldn't find anything so if you go online everything is so confusing about this USB-C port so if you think you'll find a way how this this charging board this actually the charging is going on this one <laughs> what I can say good luck but it took me like over one hour and I could figure it out just from the the USB-C schematic so actually I have, I had, I had to crack down a USB, a USB cable and actually find exactly what's going on on this one, yeah? So let me show you, just pay attention uh, or uh, just a warning, if you are a pro, this, this video is, is not for pros, you, you'll be disappointed or insulted. This is just... Uh, let's say on the moment when you have to fix only the charging yeah because nothing else will work the data will not work the video output will not work or the high speed the data will not work yeah two different things will not work the data the normal data transfer like the the micro usb and the high speed they will not work anymore so this is just to fix the charging problem okay good so what i did Just ignore the the solders and everything. Yeah, this is your USB port. This is um, it's it's for any USB C. This is not only for this. This is a Samsung phone. I don't know what Samsung. It's probably some A5. I can tell you exactly what it is. A3, 2017. But that's not important. Okay. So the way how you can restore the charging on a on a, on a USB C port. All what you need, yeah. So that's it's all about all what you need, the minimal necessary, yeah. So the pins are like that, yeah. Let me present you the pins. So this is just just pay attention on plus and minus. This is the first things what you have to restore the plus and the minus track, yeah. This is plus. You have two pins together, obviously, to carry more current. These are connected together with this plus. You have one pin here, one plus here. Of course, are three pin for plus, three for minus to carry more current. Yeah. After that, you have the ground. Yeah, you have one pin ground here. You can see one pin here. This is ground. You have one, two pins here ground. These two here ground. So you have, you have to restore them at least just two each. Okay. Probably will work even with one each, but you know the things will get hot. You it's scaring probably around one seven, one one point seven, one point eight amps. So it's it, it's easy because our big trucks. It's easy to be restored, yeah. So one more time. Two plus here, one plus here, two minus here, and one minus here, yeah. Now. The next one, data lines. Data lines, like on the micro USB ports, I showed them. So you see, are broken. You see, all these pins are broken. These are the data lines, yeah. And of course, these the data lines are setting up the charging current. So if you short here, it will charge your max current. Of course, nothing will happen. You know, with your battery or with your phone, the charging is regulated by a charging IC with a very precise charging current yeah now the most important pins which I waste my time like so so long is this pin which I don't know what is doing but this pin yeah is connected with a resistor yeah let me show you the charging cable open You see that resistor there? So actually it's a loop a loop inside of the inside of the 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 cable 
so it's a loop from this is the loop is starting from this pin yeah it's going around on the on the cable you have a resistor on the serial mode yeah and after that it's coming back exactly on this pin so these two pins are a must without these two pins will not charge you know what will happen uh, it's starting 400 milliamps going up 1.7 one second later it's back to 400 yeah so this is very important so I, I, I waste my time only for these pins because I, I couldn't understand what was going on here let me bring this on focus you know just I'm, I'm doing this video because maybe there are people searching for for a fix just for a charging fix because obviously the phone comes here not charging with a charging issue not like it's not displaying on HDMI out okay or I don't know I just gave you an example the phone has a micro micro SD card anyway so you can save the data without problems so very important this is plus this track yeah as a serial mode a resistor and it's coming back to this track okay good the next important track yeah and these are important again very important is this track and this track from the ends yeah so this track actually is going to the ground of the of the of the cable same like same as this is going to the ground of the cable yeah I don't know what what this design so let's say I, I, I couldn't figure it out why they used something like that to detect the charging cable what's the point when, when you have here like I don't know maybe probably but too many things like you have here yes on the moment when you connect the charging cable here you'll have ground and this must be here so you have to, to re, uh, redo these trucks, this truck and this truck, yeah? You have to redo them. And after that, you have this important truck, which is going on the... You can make it here, you know, it's, it's more hard just to connect from here to here, a resistor on a serial mode, yeah? To just bridge them with a, seri with a resistor on a serial mode. I don't know what value has the resistor, but that's not important. It's more easy just to redo this two trucks okay data line shorted we have plus plus minus minus and that's all what you need to restore the charging on your uh, USB C port okay the other the other uh, the other things it's you don't need them are for something else yeah you see all are broken here the data lines is shorted so the charging current is max current okay well let's say if you if you if you really try to do this and um, still have data transfer just don't bridge these two resistors yeah just use two wires and uh, read you this track so these are the data lines plus and minus data yeah okay the charging it is charging course is charging but you know it's, it was like it was like why is no charging you know was the data line I showed the data line spins okay plus and minus and it was still not charging I was like why let me put back the board Who knows? Maybe someone, somewhere, uh, someone is, is searching for something like that—a solution for charging. Okay, let's plug the charger. Pay attention on the current, yeah? 1.4 amps. So it's charging fine. So all what that's all the pins what we need. Okay. 
it's not a big thing, but you know, it can happen like you want to fix it and you want to fix only the charging. Let's say if you want to fix everything, you have to bridge each pin. It's just a bad design. That's that's why the trucks are getting broken. Okay? By charging fine. But that's that's a must what you what you must have there the pins not only plus and minus ensure the data exactly like the micro usb on the micro usb plus and minus and uh, shorten the data pins yeah so the data pins when you charge the phone actually it's acting like a uh, setting up the charging current because maybe you don't have like a two amp charger maybe you have only one amp or, i don't know it's you understand the the, the point of this Okay, so thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one, yeah? It just was just a short one. Just, you know, maybe you'll have this problem. Bye.